Welcome to Townsmen. Let's start a new basic training one. This is our town. What should we call it? What should we call it? Big peas. Big peas town. Boom. Okay, this is sick. We have a dog. Move the camera by swiping over the screen. And zooming in and out. Sick. Okay, this is the land that we have. The castle is your most important building. It acts as your first warehouse. You can assign townies to be carriers here. Okay. Mm. You now carry stuff. On the upper right side of the screen, you can see how much prestige and failure you have, as well as the number of unassigned townies and your town size. Important messages are shown in the upper left. I have been collecting like a lot of prestige crowns, so like I have 2.7k. Uh, yeah, we can like skip a lot of stuff. Um, use the fast forward feature to speed up time. You can spend prestige to recharge it. You've just received your first quest. Your town needs wood. Enter the build menu looking for the forest hut. Let's look at the quest. We get 5 prestige and 20 bird for building a forester's hut. Buildings can be built by expending either resources or prestige. Resources have to be transported to the construction site for the construction to proceed. This takes time using prestige on the other hand is instantaneous. I love that word instantaneous, I don't know why. Let's put it like right here. Oh, we have to unassign this guy and assign him for here. But obviously we have prestige so we can just fast forward and boom, it's built. Most requests, most, oh, most quests will reward you with prestige. Open the quest log and collect your rewards. Boom, 20 bird and 5 prestige. Prestige is special currency that grants you various advantages. Always keep an eye out for the crown icon. You've this fast forward one. Okay, that's, you should now build another townhouse to increase the population. Yeah, we only have two living here, so it's kind of sad. Hmm, it won't let me. It literally won't let me. Wait, what? Why won't it let me? Oh yeah, on the sign of work from the building. I already did it. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. With the freed up work, you can now build another townhouse. Oh, let's take him out and build a town. Let's, let's just do the prestige again. Why not? There. As long as you have uninsigned townies, your construction sites will be manned immediately. Now go and get your reward from the quest log. Boom, 15 bags. 
Whatever it is, each townhouse increases the number of available workers. Now we have four. Two are free. Get building buildings where workers assigned to them are dormant. Get more workers to continue production. You should assign new worker to the forest hut. Boom. New worker now. In Townsend, the male townies work as the carriers, resource producers and craftsmen, while the town net see to keep in the homes stocked with food, water and luxury goods. Okay, so it's like an old tight kind of thing. Now you have to take care of all your townies needs and desires. All important information can be found in the statistics menu. Statistics. The needs of your townies are food, water. In addition to that, your townies have desires, the happiness, the value, the sum of all needs and desires. You should always keep an eye out for your townies' happiness. They are 80% happy. Okay. Okay. Oh, we can sign another worker for here. It's 200 out of 500 nearly. We're full on stock. It's the springtime. Oh, fishermen's hut supply and village with fish as a food resource. Build a fishermen's hut for safety needs. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's watch this get built. Okay, there's a worker already there. Okay, he's walking towards this. Okay, just abracadabbered and walking away. You see the women doing the work, putting food into the houses. Okay. Let's speed up five times. Slow down, watch him build. Okay. Speed up again so he comes back. He's bringing a chest with him. Okay. I think that's it. Boom, he's fishing. Okay, the quest is complete. We got 15 meat and 10 prestige. And we just got a bit of money from tax. The well supplies your village. The well supplies your village with water. Build a well to satisfy your townies' needs for water. Okay, I will do. Let's do a quick, fast besiege. There we go. Boom. Pretty decent. Infinite water. Okay. Your townhouses regularly pay taxes. The amount of failure gathered depends on the happiness of the tax rate. Tap the coins over the townhouses to collect taxes. Ooh, 20 tax per house. Okay. You can bolster tax revenue by increasing or oh by increasing the tax rate, however, keep in mind tax rate after effects happiness and productivity. It is pretty low. Oh, so it tells a timer for when tax is paid. This one's too tart day and the other one's 40 seconds. What was that? I didn't see the text there. I skipped it. No. The icons that are displayed over buildings and the alert messages will inform you about the lack of storage and other problems. Oh, top left. Your townies are unhappy. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Literally what? Their needs is food and water, their desires is all of that. Yeah, we're a bit underdeveloped for that, sadly. You should build two additional townhouses to increase your workforce. I'm just going to do fast prestige. Why not build another one? Boom. 
Resources and goods are temporarily stored in the production buildings until they are either used for production or transport to the warehouse. Okay. Oh, here you can, set, you can see all your stored resources, available goods from the main storage are shown. Oh, from the main storage are shown to the left. Wares stored in the buildings are shown to the right. Okay, what the hell? Only goods that have been transported to main storage can later be sold at the marketplace. Okay, looks pretty decent. Why is that guy like having a storm above his head? Look at this, look, look at that. What was that quest? Build a sawmill. I will build that indeed. Where do we put? Why don't kind of put close to the logs, you know? We put like right here, perfect. There's a guy working there. Sawmills part production chain that turns wood logs into planks. There you will need to encounter more complex production chains. Boom. I'll take that. Your townies will be happier when you build a marketplace for them. I wish to build one. You are, you know, insta quick build. Let's put like right over here. At the marketplace, you can trade goods. When a merchant is in town, however, his stock will be limited. The market is also a place where town nets go to pick up jewelry and clothes if available. I'll get my reward. Oh. Oh, this is where we can sell stuff to the merchant. Each time you level up, you unlock several new research possibilities. When you have research, e.g. more tax income. This upgrade will be available to all your towns. Oh, I can sell stuff. Okay. Let me sell some bread. Oh, 115 for all that. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you can you should sell some goods at the market. Keep an eye out for the merchant icon. It informs you when the merchant is in town. Okay. Each earn 50 taylor from trading in the market. Oh, I already paid him a lot. There we go. Around 73. When you are low on money and have a surplus of goods, you can sell them. Um, you can sell some of the goods to make some quick failure. I think that's, I think that's just like coins back in the old days. Road speeds up, roads speed up the transport of goods and resources. But you should plan their construction wisely. Now, build some roads in your town. Okay, we have to build two roads. Let's do one from the marketplace, right, like here, to this part where it's connected up. Okay. Let's build one from the back of the log house. In the front and let's connect it onto this one here there we go okay we got a few coins and fish in addition to public buildings like this like the marketplace your townies happiness is also increased by decorations okay we have to decorate okay we are going to end it here. Subscribe for next part. Peace.